Good morning. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video for a while, but frankly I haven't been here much. The weather's been awful. It's rained almost every day and I've had things I need to do at home as well. But today the sun's out, the weather's improved quite a lot. It's not exactly hot, but it's well it's it's warmer than it was. And I've come up today primarily to plant these onion sets uh, and I've got a few other things I need to do as well and what I'll do before I do that is show you around the allotment and show you how things have changed. This is the rhubarb and the artichoke bed as you can see the rhubarb is starting to grow nicely and the artichokes are perking up a bit and they stopped dying back and they should start growing again soon. There are some signs of growth on these berry plants. If you look very closely you can see little green shoots coming there. This is the garlic I planted uh, in the autumn uh, which seems to be growing quite well and these are the onions I planted at the same time they're not doing so well. They've been ravaged a bit by the wet weather and the lack of sunlight, I think. But there'll be a few spring onions in a while. The kale's doing quite well, uh, producing a healthy amount of greens, if the pigeons leave it alone long enough. And the broccoli, too. I've put these little stakes into the stems to keep the pigeons off and uh, it's producing a small amount of food. The apple trees are all pruned and they haven't started to grow yet but when they do this one in particular will deserve special attention. Now, this was a very large healthy tree but it was getting too big for the space it was in so I've cut it right back to a stump and uh, when it starts to grow again soon I will take out a section of the bark partially ring barking it so that it will stunt its growth because I want a small healthy tree big tree too big it isn't ideal digging conditions. Uh, the soil's very wet, very heavy to turn over. But I have cleared, I think, just about enough space to plant the onions I have. That's the onions planted. Uh, it's all down to nature from now on. All I've got to do now is scrape the mud off my boots. And then I can go home. That's me finished up here for the day. But there is one more thing I'm, I intend to do. Uh, I've got some logs about four or five inches across, which I got from pruning the large apple tree that I showed you earlier. And what I'm going to do is take them home, cut them into sections and drill holes at either end. And they will make uh, what I think is called a bee hotel. Uh, there'll be a winter home for hibernating insects and bees and other insects are all part of uh, nature and we need to preserve them and give them every chance so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you later. Hi well I was planning to bring my wood back here and make some bee hotels but I picked up one log and realised I'd do myself an injury if I tried to do that. So I've come back to get a saw and I'm going to go down and cut my wood down there. I'll show you what the result is when I've done it. <laughs> 